project would mark a historic shift in uh, the Zimbabwe political and economic climate after 38 years of one-party rule. Zimbabweans are voting in the first uh, post-Mugabe era election today and uh, for the first time uh, years the country is under the gaze of Western election monitors. Uh, this may spark a new dawn in uh, Zimbabwe's failed economy. Joining us now for more on this is uh, Joseph uh, Otto, who is a senior associate at uh, Mayor Brown. Uh, many thanks for making time to speak to us, Joseph. Um, lots of talk there about uh, the IMF, uh, maybe an IMF program coming in play here. If at all, this is a credible election. If at all, the observers say yes. Uh, do you get the sense that, uh, uh, well, uh, post Mugabe uh, Zimbabwe here who could actually get an IMF program in play after this election? Potentially. Um, and uh, as you said, much depends on whether these elections are seen as being uh, free, fair and credible. Now, in, in that respect, uh, the, the, the president at the moment, Manangagwa, has done a lot to try and um, attract in investment and persuade the West that um, Zimbabwe is, is, is open for investment, but also um, is change, in changing course. He's invited in, international observers, observers in. Um, the opposition have been allowed to, uh, to, to campaign. And also they've implemented some um, bi biometric um, voter registration. For, so for, for many regions, it, it looks like uh, this might be a, a, a change for, for the better. But for IMF and for the World Bank and other multilateral lenders and investors, they're really going to want to see uh, a credible change. They want to they want to see that the policies of the Mugabe era are being uh, are being scrapped uh, and new policies are coming in which respect the rule of law, respect the sanctuary of contracts, uh, and also protect investment investors. And one of the ways I think protect, um, investors need to know they'll be protected is if the new government deals with the liquidity crisis. But Joseph, how exactly do they do this? Well, very, it's a, that's a very good question. And, and the, what they're going to have to do is, is implement a program to, 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 to um, attract the multilateral uh, um, investment um, 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 community and investors ge generally. Mm -hmm. And that means um, um, ensuring that um, the, the, the debt can be dealt with, putting in place strong policies for business to, to, to take, to, 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 to actually invest into the country, but also ensuring um, that, that, that they are on top of the economy and they're prepared to revitalize all the industrial sectors that have been decimated under the Mugabe uh, um, um, re era. Right, uh, let's talk about some of the capital controls in the country right now. Uh, how essential is it, at least from your perspective, as an investor or someone who might want to actually uh, get a piece of the cake here on the Zimbabwe boss, uh, how essential is it for uh, capital controls to be scrapped and have liquidity leave the country at your will as an investor? Uh, it's, it's, it's very important. I mean, investors will, will need to be able to uh, repatriate um, th th their profits. They'll need a, a, a clear tax regime. But also, because the dollar is used so, so, so widely in the country, you know, um, they, they'll also need to be able to ensure that um, payments can be made, payments ex internally in the country, but also externally to suppliers, um, to, 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 to investors and shareholders can be made without the, those capital controls um, in, in, in place at the moment. So that's, that is very important. And, you know, investors are going to be really watching this and, and, and really uh, want to ensure that these controls are, uh, are, are removed. Now, uh, the president, um, Nangagwa, has said that the country has started to see some investment coming in. But in your opinion, where should these investments be directed to? I mean, there's a collapsed healthcare sector, the banking system as well. But, is, but what would you say is the immediate priority uh, for the new government in terms of directing the investments in the right places? 
Well, that's a very good question. And then there's lots of places to start, really. But of, of course, the, the, the mining sector is, is, a, is a good place to start. Um, Zimbabwe has world class mine, mining deposits, mm. uh, generally a good mining code which actually needs updating somewhat, but generally they don't start from scratch. So, so, the, so, so the natural resources is, is a good place to start. Also, Zimbabwe has very, very fertile land. So ag agricultural development is also a, a very, very important area of Zimbabwe. Um, and, and secondary areas are also um, in, in retail, as, uh, banking, as, as you've said. Um, but also there's a really big really really big need for infrastructure development mm -hmm. so as the investment comes in and as the economy grows the, the, the it needs infrastructure to help support that growth so that they're the three they're the main areas which investors will be looking to see where how they can invest and whether they can really make an impact and and those those areas are going to be areas which can have the most immediate impact on uh, the zimbabwe people and and, and its economy mm -hmm. Joseph, uh, finally, I want to put you on the spot here. Uh, debt to GDP, uh, well, official numbers from Zimbabwe are looking at 75%. Uh, uh, this is the debt to GDP yeah. ratio, uh, which is staggering by any standard. Uh, if you were either Emerson Munangagwa or uh, Mr. Chomisa coming in, tell me, where would you start? Would you go beg the Paris Club to actually uh, give, <laughs> scrap the, 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 the whole plate clean? Yeah, well, that is definitely put, put, putting on the spot. And, and I think... Um, if, if I was either, the, both both candidates have, uh, have campaigned on uh, a basis, a ticket of trying to revitalise the economy, uh, and, and definitely engaging with multilateral lenders, asking for um, debt relief is definitely going to be the first the, the first part of call for um, for, for, the, um, for both for both candidates, and to be able to do that, they, 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 going back to to what's happening at the moment, they're going to have to demonstrate that the elections are fair, free, and credible, and Zimbabwe is ready for a change. And and once they can persuade the international community, then um, they, they will they will they will be listened to because. Everybody, everybody um, says that Zimbabwe has the potential to be a real a jewel in Africa's crown. Mm -hmm. Joseph, many thanks for that. That was uh, Joseph Otto, who is a senior associate over at Mayor Brown.